you guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Today I'm going to be showing you this Twitch effect or Twitch like effect jittery in After Effects. As you see here, now this is the sort of thing we're going to be creating. This is maybe a bit extreme, uh, but you know, it's just so you get the general idea for the video preview. You know, I've also added a motion blur, you know, just to kind of enhance the colors, etc. Uh, but no, this is it we're going to be creating, you know, follow along. Uh, but you know, one thing before we get started, I'd just like to apologize for my voice if I sound different, if I sound weird. Uh, I've kind of got a blocked up nose and a sore throat, that kind of thing. But you know, I think it's time to start with a tutorial. You know, file new, new project. And uh, no, I'm not going to save. And I'm just going to import the clip, control I, and form one RPG. Drag it into a new composition, like so. And you've got the basic clip in here. Now I'm just going to add a motion blur. Use your motion blur like so. Blur amount to 0 0.8 and leave it at that. And now I'm going to go is go use a Twitch effect. Here you will need Video Copilot Twitch. Uh, you can buy it from the Video Copilot website. Oh, uh, you may be able to get it another way. Uh, yeah, you may be able to get it another way if you search YouTube. If you know what I mean. And there's my cat jumping up on me and purring. I get down. Uh, but you can search on YouTube. Uh, probably be able to find it. No, I'm not going to give you the link. We got to search it. It's not hard, but guys. Uh, but no, that's that's it. Added Twitch and got the motion blur. But you know, once Twitch is added, you'll notice if you start to maybe ramp, give a ram preview to it, it will do nothing. That's because you haven't enabled any settings. You go to enable and slide. And firstly, you'll notice that this is a bit extreme. This is because the amount is on 100. I'd like to take it down to about 5-ish, roughly, maybe give or take a few, you know, depending on your your preferences, change it to fit on 100% like so, and I'm going to go to operator controls and slide, and the slide, um, no, I'm going to leave that, go to slide RGB split and crank that up to all the way to 100, and you see that you kind of give an RGB feel around it, you kind of see... Uh, I like the change, like where it goes from the map to the gun and that. You, you can kind of see a green outline, purple outline, you know, just depending where it is. So if we go ahead and build a dynamic RAM preview. But no, no, it's just a RAM preview, isn't it? Building that RAM preview is Vegas. Yeah, I'll probably stop when it gets to a minute. Uh, you know, you kind of see the motion blur kicking in there on the RPG. Uh, if I want to know how to get this kind of motion blur, I watched my other videos. It's called Real Motion Blur in After Effects released just before this video or a few days before this video and I think we're going to stop it there, have, have a look at this only one second but you can see the, the clip is sped up by the way guys, it's not your computer or my computer uh, I'm not sure what really happens but you know you kind of get the gist of it <laughs> that's quite funny actually because I don't think I'm recording system sound but it's kind of got some <laughs> sound like some Chinese ninja um, but now I'm going to like so, go back to the beginning and that may be a bit extreme, so you know you can take down the speed to about two. Maybe so it's not as harsh, so it's not as fast, you know. It gives it a bit more relaxed feel, so it's not so in your face type of thing. And that's about it. You can maybe change the slide spread down to zero. This changes it from going from all different angles, like horizontal, vertical, diagonal, just to vertical itself. So it kind of keeps it kind of in alignment. I believe it looks more professional professional. Uh, but it's all down to personal preference. So yeah, that's about it to be honest guys. You know, you can build an dynamic RAM preview here. I'll just tone down the speed so it kind of be a bit more subtle. But you know, just mess around with these settings, you know, find find what suits you best, find what suits your kind of criteria and work with that. Because it's going to be different for probably loads of different me types of media. So I'm just going to stop it there and play. And kind of the RGB splitting in there. Uh, it's used in a lot of intros, etc. Montages. You get the gist. And you can keyframe over just hitting the little keyframe button on the RGB split or the slide or the enable, anything really. And then I'm going to cut it off here. This has been Colin with Chrome Designs. And thank you for watching this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.